Hi there YouTube, this is going to be a quick video overview of the brand new Leshy 2, brand new to the UK. I'm taking it out of the box, the rifle's just beside me there. So let's swap it out. This is the rifle. I went for the 350mm long barrel, being 177 calibre. You can see that there, both sides. Comes with two magazines, one's in the gun at the moment, one's on the holder. I should say it's a self-indexing rifle, so there's no cocking handle, no bolt, all you do, pull the trigger and it will index the magazine round and use a blast of air from the valve to shoot the pellet down the barrel. While we're here, I've just mentioned the scope, it's a Optizan, CP's here is the scopes, it is the 3-12 to side focus, I believe they also do a fixed uh, 10 times magnification. See up there? Lovely little bright scope. Fits perfectly on the Leshy. Nice and small, nice and compact. The back, we have the twin air cinders. We've got the, this one down at the bottom here. That's all air cinder. And at the top, we have this rear section, which is also air cinder. Then, you see this brake here. This is where the plenum and the regulator is housed in here. Quick overview of the rifle. The front here, you can see the muzzle end. It is a shrouded barrel. It does quiet down substantially. It's not whisper quiet, but it is quiet enough for back guard, garden use. Side there, we've got the locking lever. Pulled out, the gun breaks in two. The magazine is loaded in the middle there. Right, let's bring you in a bit closer and we'll have a look at the safety. Right, here we go. Ambidextrous safety. White is obviously safe. Red is fire. No pellets loaded in it at the moment, so it's nice and safe. Grip. Nice red laminate grip. Nice and comfy. Uh, AK style, which means it's more of a fixed back rather than the raked back of an AR. Rear of the rifle, we have the. I don't know if the camera will focus. There it goes. The wiki gauge is a wiki gauge, nice and accurate. Test it on the dive bottle, it's almost perfect, no problems. This down here is a fill port dust cover. You rotate that, opens up the filling port there, so you stick the fill adapter in, fill her up. It is a 300 bar fill on this rifle. So if you've got a compressor, you can fill it up to 300. Okay, next up, let's break the gun. Locks back to a nice little compact package there. Perfect for carrying around. It's also perfectly safe in this configuration. You can put it on fire. It will never fire as it has no supply of air. So it's a good way to carry it around, perfectly safe. And back here, you see the magazine. This black cover plate comes off. You drop the pellets in. And then reapply the backing cover. The pellets won't fall out. I will say, you do need the magazine in the gun when you fire it. Otherwise this red transfer port here will pop out. It needs to seal against this surface of the magazine. Right, this little red thing here. This is the power puck. This is what controls the power of the rifle, or one of the things that controls the power of the rifle. This is your transfer port. So the larger this is, the higher the power. In the UK, we're bound by the sub 12 foot pound rule, which means that our muzzle NG mustn't exceed 12 foot pounds. So I contacted Francisco at Edgun Spain, or edgun.shop, and he assured me that there'd be no problems with it coming into the country at below 12 foot pounds. It isn't. This rifle, as it sits now, is running at about 10. I had the rifle shipped to an RF, my local RFD. Just wanted to be on the safe side, but I needed and worried because it came in at about 12, uh, 10 foot pounds, well below the 12 foot pound rule. Probably does need to go up a little bit, but we'll talk about tuning a bit in another video a bit later. Okay, so what's it like to shoot? Well, unfortunately, in the UK, we're currently in a national lockdown, or 
tier systems, but it means that not all non-essential businesses have to be closed, so the range is closed, unfortunately. But I have had a chance to shoot in the back garden. It's only 25, maybe 30 yards, but it does, it operates lovely. Got a nice trigger there. I was quite worried about the trigger when I first got the rifle, because everyone makes a point of contention, saying it's not like your standard trigger. Uh, we're clear here, we've got no pellets in the magazine and it's pointed in a safe direction, so I'll, I'll fiddle with the trigger. So, it's not like a usual PCP trigger, you don't creep it back and wait for it to break, you simply pull it through. Pull it through every time, it'll do exactly what you want to do, every time. It's quite nice, it's a single stage, but it does break at the same point each and every time. If you do creep the trigger back slowly, what you'll here is a hiss in the back rather than a puff of air. You'll slowly release the air, it won't seal the pellet properly and you'll get a low foot per second obviously as you're wasting air. So just be aware of that, it's a nice solid pull through, not a yank but just a, a steady pull through. As I said before, unfortunately the ranges are closed at the moment so I haven't got no chance, I haven't had a chance to properly shoot a rifle yet but it feels like a lovely bit of kit. Everything's solidly built, everything fits nice, everything's finished nicely. It really does feel like a, a well-made, solid piece of engineering. Right, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you've liked it. Hope you learnt something or had a better understanding than a rifle. It's very nice. Um, before you go, I'll just give you some measurements. So, from end to end, it's about 70 five centimeters and it's folded it's about 46 obviously the 250 mil barrel 100 mil shorter so take 100 mil off them values that should get you in the ballpark uh, the weight of it it's about 2.3 kilos uh, without scope on it so that's unscoped and that's obviously for the 350 mil long version probably I don't know 100 grams lighter would be the the 250 Okie doke, if there's anything else you want to see, or ask, put them down in the comments and I'll try and oblige you. Thanks for watching.